You know Vladimir Putin. You think he's a killer? Mm-hmm. I do. So what price must he pay? The price he's going to pay, well, you'll see shortly. He will pay a price. I, we had a long talk, he and I. We've, I, I know him relatively well. And I, the conversation started off. I said, I know you and you know me. If I establish this occurred, then be prepared. You said you know he doesn't have a soul. I did say that to him, yes. And to end, his response was, we understand one another. When President Biden was asked whether he believes you are a killer, he said, I do. Mr. President, are you a killer? <laughs> Over my tenure, I've gotten used to attacks from all kinds of angles and from all kinds of areas under all kinds of pretext and reasons and of different caliber and fierceness, and none of it surprises me. So as far as harsh rhetoric, I think that this is an expression of overall U.S. culture. That's how Putin is trying to widen his rebuttal, making it larger than just a Joe Biden thing. The meeting is on Wednesday. The White House says that President Biden will be confronting the Russian leader on many issues, including recent cyber attacks on U.S. interests, as well as the human rights record in that country. For the Russian president, Vladimir Putin says he isn't trying to ignite a new Cold War. But Putin is touting, uh, Putin is touting Russia's new invincible nuclear-powered missile that is capable of hitting anywhere in the world, according to him. Putin showed a video as proof simulating Russian missiles apparently raining down on Florida near the president's Mar-a-Lago estate. Our next guest is skeptical of Putin's claim about his capability, but has real feelings about his intentions.